This is going to be a searchlight signal project I'll be working on. This is going to be part one showing the thing I'll be using. Because I had a friend in the council who gave me this a while back, um, this thing, this is from Telephone Exchange Machines. I've okay, got three of these trolley mounts, two with Telephone Exchange instruments on top, and one left over the trolley with the top half missing. Well, I thought I'd use this for, as I've tra strapped to a piece of wood across it already. I'm making myself a home base single searchlight signal with a single light searchlight with three aspects, like this one here. But this one's at the Macaulay, so it's got double at Macaulay by making the, the uh, single aspect one, um, single light one. I went down to the VR Rally Antiques place, what well, used to be in Albert Pup and Aston Seymour, but what I did, I bought one of these, and and the man had delivered it to me on the 23rd, 23rd of April, to project video number two and three, won't be out till, we'll say it's about 24th, 23rd of April at night, or the 24th. Because I have to do a lot of work on it, I have to paint over the graffiti with black gloss, what I'm going to be using. So then you get exact, exactly similar railway paint, um, exactly the same coloured paint from the railway, like railway paint, but that's what you can buy really easily in Bunnings. But I got this thing working, it took me about a week. Touching on my mum's birthday, I figured out how to get this light to actually work. There's, no, screen, yeah, green, um, line clear. Proceed to the next signal as I pronounce it to be and danger. This has a non original globe and I do own the original globe. So I have to be careful with this because there's 110 volts on this terminal here and that far one on the far hand side, but where I'm touching it is such a safe. You see that's the globe in there. Um, this is the Metropolitan Vickers searchlight thing. Except me, I've had two hands of this. There we go. It's made was made in the UK, but what I'm going to be using for the case is a Mackenzie and Holland um, base like this, like casing with the with the round ring and the and the thing. I saw the one I bought today, but it's going to look to me on the 23rd as I said it said it was. But this is a completely working searchlight instrument. My camera might not be able to know. I'll pop the camera up. I think it's down, I have to push. No, you see, see how it moves in there? Um, I have the 12 volt, um, no, 110 volt AC, you know, it's so adapter down there. I'm replacing the wire I've wired um, shortly because I have a US called on order. Um, on eBay, whenever that does, I'm going to remove this cable and put a proper connection on there. But only for the time being, weather's well, going to be like that. And I got the 12 volt DC powers, but thing with a battery charger to run the uh, um, the incandescent bulbs, card globes I got in there. Then a separate AC adapter with 12 volts, which makes the aspects go. This is a homemade box I made up for it to make change to yellow, green. In danger. So when I get this project video up, they're not going to get a part two video or part three until the 24th or the late or night time on the 23rd. May I will do on the 24th. So I have to paint up the visor. I will probably do a painting video. I'll show on the thing before and after video. And then I'll show you it completely. If I did my level crossing video. But I haven't cleaned this up since I got it. I've only been trying to get it to work. I think I've got a. Um, back of globes. Um, the globe pack in here. If you want, any, if any of my fans want to know what the globes are, you know, up here. New auto cart globes. Twenty-one watts, twelve volts. I do have the original globe that came with this unit. Um. Well, it still works, but I didn't want to use 12, um, the voltage I wanted, what it was. So I lowered, put a different globe in. This is the one, this is the one from set, that's the one there. 6 volt, 12 watts. And because I'm not running any, I don't have any 6 volt power, but power these type of globes. And plus, you can't get them anymore. I thought I'd just add a 12 volt lamp. So it's so easy to get a hold of now these days, but this is my. 
I almost said McKenzie's in Holland then, but I meant to say Metropolitan Vickers Searchlight GRS. I'll turn off my voltages quickly. Because I'll be having a look at here, but that's the date. That's the code there. Here we go. I'll show you a bit now in the video. I'll just take the lens out to show you. And I may be getting a real a McKenzie Horn one of one of these as well. The man's gonna try and get me one in the store. A McKenzie Horn one of these. As I mentioned in the last video I did, um, the place not open to the public yet, but he does let me go down there to buy purchase stuff for these projects. But this will be my last railway project. I'll be doing, but there is another project I'll be doing in the future. Will be a semaphore signal project. I'm gonna get all the parts to make up. I do have a few, only one part of a semaphore. Here's this part here, this is the real one, the Kingdom Holland. I restored it a tiny bit with um, some silken here. It doesn't sharp on the video though. I don't feel sharp in the lounge either. I'll see if I show you and then I'm going to put it back away. Oh, you can. I'll just put some black silken in there to stabilise the lens. That arm is not real. I made it out of plywood. If anyone wants to know what the plywood is, I can't remember the measurements with silver because it was an existing train table but I took to pieces. And I might be changing the terrain up and making a new one up, maybe, for a side two. But what I'll be getting is the arm. It's not cheap either. I'm not going to tell you exactly how much you can get these for. But that, for kind of how much that was now. But again, the lens, the, the actual semaphore post, the semaphore mounting bracket, the, the spark goes on top, the lamp, and a couple of parts. What could we do with the parts if they don't fit in my room? He said he could weld the original pole to a bracket. That's what could be welded, so I do have a welder. But my project is what I'm going to be working mainly is the searchlight signal, but that will be the end of the video.